Our first caller is Santiago from Ecuador. Santiago, how can we help you? Hey, guys. So basically, my question is, uh, I just finished MAPS Anabolic. I'm right now doing MAPS Performance. I'm doing a three-day away, a phase one, so it's three days a week. I'm currently uh, wearing a wearable that tracks my sleep, my uh, recovery, et cetera, my heart rate. So my question is, if it would make sense to add another day if my recovery is is good. No, that's that's a really good question, and it's a trap that a lot <laughs> of us uh, fall into when we're getting into fitness. So the optimal dose of exercise for maximum results is not the same as the upper tolerable limit of exercise that your body can withstand. So in other words, you might be able to withstand more exercise. You might be able to withstand more stress, but that's not going to get you to your goal any faster. In fact, it may actually slow down and oftentimes does slow down your progress. And also it takes another tool off the table because at some point, if you come really advanced, you may need to add extra exercise just to get your body to progress even further. So don't fall into this trap. If you're progressing, you feel good, performance is improving, you're stronger. Don't add more just because you think you can. I'll leave it alone. Don't fix what's not broken. Allow your body to adapt uh, and improve. Now, that being said, if he's been doing this for a while and he and he's at a plateau uh, and he's got great recovery, great sleep, that is an option. But I think it shouldn't be the first option, mm. right? I think that before you – the last place I ever wanted to – is to add more more training days to my clients. So, mm -hmm. like we we want to manipulate exercise and programming uh, and nutrition and and do things like that and movement throughout the day. I want to play with all those things first before I say, hey, now let's add another day. Just because you're you're adding another day of exercise that you're now pretty much committing yourself to if you <clears throat> want to maintain whatever that physique is that you build. So, well, did you just start Maps Performance like recently? How long? Yeah, yeah, like. I'm finishing phase one this week. Oh, yeah. Buckle yes. up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you're starting an entirely new stimulus, and, and your body's going to respond just because it's different than what you've been doing before. So, I don't know. Give it a chance to, to sort of develop and, and, and ride it out. So, if you are still getting results right now, I mean, I would focus on just, you know, the benefits of what you've experienced so far and the strength of it. Yeah, and, and, and performance progressively adds volume anyway. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's all in there. Yeah, phase two, phase three, and so on you're going to get more and more volume. So just hang on, hang tight, uh, and let the program uh, get your body where you want it to go. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Nope. And the second part of my question is, uh, I, I've been focusing a lot more on performance rather than aesthetics. I've been following your advice, and I'm enjoying it more. So my question is, what program would it be beneficial to follow after I'm done with performance mm. to keep focusing more on a strong, 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 strong or power lift? Yeah, I, I'd yeah. say map strong. Let's yeah, go yeah, map. map strong. Also, you great. can only ask one question. So I was going to give you a free program. But <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to get a free. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you ruined yeah, it. Yeah, Sa Santiago, I'm going to send you map strong. Okay. Yeah. Follow that after maps performance. You're going to love Map strong. It's funny. We created Map Strong, and we didn't really have expectations that it would explode the way it did. People did it, and they it's become one of the favorite programs that people follow. Powerlift would be great yeah. too, though, because I mean, Powerlift is literally designed to bring up your all those four major lifts. So yeah. if you want something that about all about performance, yeah. I mean, that's bare not, bones. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it gets right after. But we're gonna we're gonna shoot Map Strong over to you, okay, Santiago? Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. I nope. Appreciate it. No problem, man. Yeah, that's the that's the trap that I fall into every single time. Everybody does that. Yeah, I work out and I'm like, oh shit. You I can feel do more. You get antsy. Yeah. Like I just think he's probably like feeling good and like wants to just keep going. Well, you know and what part get of, after it. You, know you also got it. That's how you, it's also how you find that out though, too, right? You keep doing it? Well, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> no but, I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> what I do like is that he has he has a tool. And by the way, this is the better way to use these tools too, right? It's not like, oh, it says I'm great, so I should just necessarily do more and do more. It's now, now I have a baseline that I've been measuring for yeah. a while. Now let's see what happens when I decide to ramp up my intensity, excuse me, add another day, something like that. And yeah. then let's go back to this tool that I have and see, do I get a positive benefit from it or does it negatively impact my sleep and my recovery? And that should give you your answer of if you're going in the right direction or not. So. Yeah. You know what the big challenge is with this is there's two. One is I want to get faster results, mm. but then here's the other one that's even harder. And this is the one that I struggle with. 
it's not necessarily that I want to get faster results. I've been working out for so long that adding even a little bit additional performance is like a miracle because I've been doing this for so forever. And I'm not, I'm on the other end now of, uh, you know, 35, right? So it's not like my body's going to continue to progress forever, but it's, I love working out. So if I think I can add another workout and I love that hour workout, then my tendency is to add more exercise, yeah. but oftentimes that's uh, self-defeating. So right. it's something that is fitness fanatics in particular struggle with. 